Hello friends on YouTube, thank you very much for tuning into your November readings. I'm hoping that October treated you very well, or is treating you very well if you're viewing this in October. Um, just going to look forward to seeing what my birthday month has in store for you. Just a quick note as well to say thank you so much for the support that I continue to receive. The emails, the likes, the subscriptions, the comments especially, um, the readings that people have asked me to do for them. I feel very privileged that you've asked me to read for you also for my lovely patrons um on patreon um yeah just thank you so much just out of interest i would like to know if you like the current website design that i've done i have a full array of readings now including seeing as we're now approaching the end of 2015 a 2016 year ahead reading um so this is going to be something very special um, it's basically covering the entire 12 months of 2016, including any horoscope activity as well. So planetary alignments, astrology, very key things for you, it will cover those as well. So it's basically a tarot and astrology reading for 2016. So for more details on that, just look on the website. I still have my general readings available, video, Skype, email, those kind of things. And um, hopefully going to be making more updates to the channel, more tarot decks, more um, oracle decks, different things. Maybe some more daily draws, you know, depending on if people respond to them very well. Um, also going to be doing hopefully some more little vlogs and things like that. I just want to be more interactive with you all. So keep a look out. Um... November's quite quiet, but it's a very strong energy, so I'm going to hopefully tap into that and see what's happening. It's almost like a very psychic, deep feeling, um, which is typical for Scorpio. So I'll just have a look at that for you. It's coming up in a moment. See the details below, all appearing on your screen right now for how to get in touch. And I look forward to reading for you. Virgo, thank you for watching your November forecast in 2015. We have five cards for the month of November from Rider Waite Tarot. The reason being, um, it's no longer, well not for this month, it's not going to be a one card per week. I've invited spirit guides and messengers to come in, universe, um, just to kind of give me anything that they feel is necessary and it's kind of not gone in the normal way. So it's just a kind of general feeling for the month and specific things you know in each card may actually refer to any place in November and we also have the oracle card giving the general message overall that stays in place and actually this is a card that has never come up before I have used the earth magic oracle card since last year sometime it has never come up in a reading so I'm really excited to see what this is all about for you and how this works um, so let me have a look. The Rider Waite Tarot deck I didn't actually start using until recently. I tried to use it um, when I first started learning tarot. I did not like it at all, mainly because of the colours. Um, I didn't feel comfortable with it. But now, because my other decks are really worn out, basically, until I buy a new one, the energy of this is so fresh and it likes working with me now. So I'm really happy to bring this to you and see what this reading is all about for you, Virgo. Okay, so let's get a general sense of what's going on. There's going to be some difficulty, but look at this beautifulness. It's the King of Pentacles, Queen of Pentacles at both sides. So this means that you are going to be in sync. It could be with a partner, it could be with a friend, but I believe this is your masculine and feminine side being in harmony, and this is going to be really helpful if you have any hormonal issues or if you have anything that you are worried about in general with regards to balancing things so if you feel like sometimes you are too much of the you know the masculine stereotype of organization and getting the finances done and that kind of thing if you feel like you fall too much in that one you're going to balance that out if you feel like you fall too much in the cooking cleaning you know being a taxi service you, you know that kind of thing of taking care of family you're going to have to balance it out now you know that's going to naturally balance out forwards for something else um, so it's going to be a good month, I would say, in that relation. Um, 
I do, however, feel like you're going to have a little bit of a struggle with somebody in particular. It could be a significant other or somebody that you're very close to. And I believe that either you or this person may feel a little bit left out in the cold. I'm tempted to say it's more you. And you do kind of feel shut out from somebody um, who may have normally been very welcoming at first. Um, the feeling of it is that almost like they are trying to put you at arm's length. Um, and just kind of keep you at a distance. But also I do feel this is kind of... Okay, so they're giving me two people. One person you feel very pushed away from. But also another friend, somebody different, feels pushed away from you. This is because it could be the way that you're being a very flippant and offhand with them. It's just your style, you don't mean that. You know, you don't mean to be very direct or you don't mean to just sound bored because it's very hard to read in a text or an email but I feel that's kind of it if it's in a text form unless there's some punctuation of some kind like an exclamation mark this other person is going to misread you and they're going to think you're not bothered with them or that they're interrupting you it's the same that you feel with other people sometimes I think there's a natural social anxiety with Virgo sometimes as to how they read other people and how well that they're being received so this is going to be a key month for that and not misinterpreting signs. And also, if you can help it, not being misinterpreted yourself. It's always best to verbally communicate in anything that means something. Text messages will not suffice if you have something to say. You need to say it openly and honestly, otherwise you will be miscon misconstrued basically. And this could start arguments or this could start like a general drifting away. So don't really pay attention to how you're perceived in messages. You need to maybe connect in a deeper, more personal way or just kind of be more natural rather than worry. It could Worrying could make it worse. But we do have the Three of Wands, which always means a very nice injection of energy. Um, this is something that I feel that you are going to carry on through. You are going to... Um, you kind of have set up something now. You set down, you set the stage, and now you're looking forward to see where else you can go and how else you can manoeuvre the land around you. It could be that you're a little bit dissatisfied in something that you're doing already. It could be that you're really not interested in certain aspects of what you're doing, but it's a means to an end. It's money. It's um. It's almost like okay, well, you know, I've got to do this. It's it's mundane, yeah. And you are probably going to have to deal with that for the foreseeable future. But at the same time, don't give up. The main thing is just don't give up. You are going to achieve something that you have wanted for quite some time. And you have the p potential to do that. But there's no need to rock the boat. If you're getting what you need for now to sustain yourself, good. Keep going. But you're still looking out to the future. So that's the most important thing. You're not just settling. Oh, I'm here now, i have paying the bills, I'm, you know, I'm going to get an apartment of my own, I'm going to get a house of my own, I'm going to, um, you know, just kind of stay where I am. It, that's fine if that's your ambition, but if you have a bigger ambition than that, for instance, I want to go to Spain for two weeks, or um, I want to maybe travel up and see the Rockies, or, what, you know, something like that. If you want to do something with regard to the world in as a whole you can start planning for that now but remember the place you are now is not necessarily the place you're going to end up and be open to that change look forwards and look and see how you can start that change now because I think you've overcome something recently be it an illness be it a um, temporary lapse in your mood anything like that I think the hard part of whatever you were going through is over um, I actually think half of that, the hard part, was a realisation that maybe you have to stick this out for a little while longer before anything will change. On the other hand, that's the situation, that's the thing, physical thing that you can't really change, like a job or a, a house or something like that. You know, if you feel a little bit trapped in that, don't worry, that will change eventually when the time's right. But if it's a personal change, for instance, the relationship side friendship side of things, family situation, that can do a little bit more manoeuvring, that can 
that needs a bit more communication. Um, as far as I can see, that will need more attention, more personal attention. Um, I think you're going to tell somebody off, to be honest. You are going to kind of be bopping them over the head with a stick, saying, stop this now. I don't want to hear it. Just let me carry on forwards. Because it's kind of like... I think with this, it's kind of... You, you are starting to build up responsibility. You're kind of now building up a framework of what you want it to be. But don't let it overwhelm you. And don't let other people hand you these tasks to do if you don't have time to do them. Hand them back. If pe- If a person doesn't appreciate you and what you're doing for them, or if they don't respond to you with kindness and love and happiness get rid of them you don't need that extra stress i think if you look at the nine of wands you'll realize that you could be like well i have no room to put this one which one's mine which which responsibility is actually mine to deal with which one has been given to me in good faith that i will do something and which one has just been thrust upon me and is not actually cooperating in the slightest look at it in that way and maybe you'll be able to resolve something because we have the dragonfly here with emergence and this is dragonflies don't get a very long life and a short out of space you know we are just going to end up with a blink in the earth's existence blink and you'll miss us basically if you think about it on the longer term so it's all about understanding how you emerge we've got lotuses here and lotuses you know i think it's every day or something they push themselves up from the grime and then bloom And that's something that you don't have to do every single day. You don't have to force yourself to get where you need to be. You know, it doesn't have to be that much of a struggle. And I think sometimes it is quite draining on you because of the amount of responsibility you've got. At the same time, this is a very slow emergence. This is a very deliberate thing. You are currently shaping yourself to be produced and introduced into the world to say, well, look, I'm here. I'm here, I have wisdom from the depth that I have been in. I have wisdom from what I have seen being under so much pressure. I have wisdom from the relationships that I have tethered in order for me to rise up to the surface. I have wisdom from every chance and every choice that I have taken. You know, that is the thing that you need to take keep in mind. What is going to keep you wise and what is going to keep you in the same place, none the wiser? If you'd like me to take a look into this more personally for you, I would love to. I have a variety of different readings on my website, email, video, Skype. I also have astrology. Um, And actually, new for 2016, I have the year ahead astrology and tarot reading forecast. Just to give you a sense of what's coming up for you, how things are working. um, You know, how the energies are working for you in 2016, really. And my word is December next month, so it's going to be... I'm just going to have to round off the month with something pretty, I suppose. I'm trying to think of what that could be. I also have a donation button on my website now, now that I've redone it. And for those of you who support me on Patreon, thank you so much. Thank you for commenting on Facebook and here and subscribing and liking and following and whatever it is the social media comes up with nowadays. So thank you so much. And although November looks like it's going to be quite a... Mm, filtering through the muck of relationship issues and too much hard work you are going to get in balance you are going to find that balance to emerge and that's something that's really worthwhile that is worth putting your neck out sometimes to try and focus and try and get where you need to be don't lose sight of what you want and don't settle for what something that you're not happy with that's the main messages that I can see for you um sometimes actually there's one message sometimes a means to an end is okay but let me just see how they're showing this to me it's kind of hang on sorry to do this to you I thought I'd done but they have one last message left for Virgo don't let responsibility to yourself be overshadowed by a sense of responsibility to others so for instance don't feel like oh you know i i've been doing this for 
12 months and I feel like I should keep going otherwise they're going to be disappointed if that's making you tired doing this for the last 12 months you have to stop it you have to say no you have to draw a line somewhere don't feel like you have to be obliged to do something if you're not getting what you need from something so it's all about the necessary ties untie those that are not necessary and that's the last message that I feel that they're saying. If it, It's okay if it's kind of giving you the money, for instance, in a job way. It's okay if it's all right for now. But if it's all right for now, you know it's not going to be there in the future. You know it's going to change. So just prepare for the change. And just kind of go with the flow a little bit. That's all. That's all I'm going to say. That's all I need to say. And I hope that this month is very kind to you. And I look forward to reading for you soon.